Hello, YouTube, and welcome to My Witch's Corner. Thank you all so much for being here. I'm so excited about this new platform. Please, if you haven't already, hit subscribe and hit that notification bell. Remember, when I hit 100 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway. And I'm here to do a pick a card. And you are going to pick left, middle, or right. The deck I'm going to be using is Angel Therapy, and this is a oracle reading. The message in the card that you pick comes from your angel guides, your spirit guides, your ancestors, or your loved ones that may have passed. The message within the card is a message that they feel is important to you so that you can know this is something we need to work on. And I'm going to work on it with you, right? They want us to grow and thrive, be successful and be happy. So let's get into it. And please share this out. And remember to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. I ask that all my readings with these cards be accurate and specific and bring blessings to everybody involved. Please help me stay centered in my higher self so that I may clearly hear, see, and feel the divine message that wish to come through these cards. Archangel Michael, along with all the other archangels, ancestors, spirit guides, gods, and goddesses, with our ascendant masters, I ask that you stay by my side, watch over me during this oracle card session, Assuring that only God's love and wisdom come through. Amen. Now please allow yourself to feel the energy from the cards and pick the one that you are drawn to, left, middle, or right. And your first card is the indigo. The person you are inquiring about is an indigo, meaning a highly sensitive, natural born leader. And what this means is at this moment in your life, you are caring and giving and loving so much for an individual right now who truly needs you. Somebody who needs to be loved and feel loved and feel supported and, and you understand that. And it can be hard for us sometimes to understand how important we are to an individual and the care and love and showing strength all the time for this person can become hard it can become draining and exhausting to the point where we start to feel unappreciated 
or overwhelmed with feelings of anxiety that we think this person is attracting to us, right? <clears throat> but as I said earlier, these messages come from our gods, our angels, our spirit guides, and our loved ones who have passed. And they want you to ask them for renewal, for strength, for courage, to keep doing this important work that you're doing right now for an individual or a group of people who really need you right now in their lives. In card two, Archangel Raphael. The healing angel is with you, supporting your healing work. And what this means is right now, just as in the last card, but much on, on a wider spectrum, the work you are doing is important and needs to be done. And it helps so many. The compassion you have and the love that you have for the work that you're doing is important not only to us, but it's important to our angels. As you are helping them, you are helping the universe, you're helping people around you right now who really, truly need the support that you're giving, the resources that you are able to provide them. And it's important that we don't allow this to become overwhelming. And it's hard to do that sometimes. It's hard to, to say, okay, I'm a warrior every single day. Because even warriors get tired. So don't allow that to happen. Know that you can you can call on Archangel Raphael at any moment when you feel like you need to be healed. You feel like you need to rest and recover. It's okay to do that. But know that the work that you're doing right now is of great importance. And don't allow the stresses that come with this work take you from it. And card three is parents. The divine truth is that your parents eternally love you to the best of their abilities. The angels are helping you heal from any pain associated with your mother or father. And you are drawn to this card. Rather your parents are past or if they're still here with us. This card was given to you to let you know that it's time to move on. It's time to forgive right now, especially now, is not the time to hold on to such anger that truly is only hurting you. And we forgive not for for the other people we forgive for ourselves the forgiveness is so that we can move forward in our lives with love and light we can release a burden on ourselves knowing that i overcame 
and I forgive. Our parents are our only parents. Whether they're the ones who gave birth to us or not. They truly have tried their best to raise us, to love us, to be there for us. And sometimes that doesn't always work out. Sometimes life takes them in a different path. And it can be hurtful on us knowing they're supposed to be our parents. They're supposed to be the ones who support us, who protect us, who love us, who make us happy when we're sad. And for a lot of us, we were born into their lives for that reason. Sometimes we had to have been the ones to make them happy, to support them, to make sure that they grow and they learn. And it's, it's crazy to say this, but when, when we're born into someone's lives, it's, it's always for a reason. There's always, there's always a reason why somebody was created, why a soul was born. And it's different for everybody. Everybody's lives, the way that we grow up, the households that we live in, is different from person to person. And some of us, it is harder for. We've been through more trauma, more hurt, more loss than others. And it's time for us to realize that that made us a stronger person. That made us a more loving person. That made us a more healing person. And now we can forgive. And allow ourselves to come back to love. And accept love truly in our lives. So I thank you for being here with me during this reading. I hope that the message was clear and specific to you. And that you received the message. And it helps you grow and move forward on your path.